What's going on, guys? I'm Ni here. And Sajin here. I and can pronounce is, my here. You can pronounce your here. And this is the next episode of Donkey Kong Country 3. But I'm pretty sure you knew that because I have a title of the video. What's the, what's the title going to be? Episode 3. What, what's the subtitle going to be? Probably something dumb. Oh. I'll make it. I'll make it up. I'll, I'll make it up if I ever upload this. Please make it probably something dumb, like uh, <laughs> maybe. We'll see. The odds last that the odds of me actually doing that <laughs> just went down because you brought it up now, though. Last episode was us licking Jim Sterling's dick. This one's gonna be probably something dumb. Um, you know what? No, I'll just end the last one. Thank God for Jim. Yeah. He's gonna well, hate that. I, he's gonna hate that I failed so much in an episode dedicated to him, though. It's a little too direct, though. Anyways. Either way. He's anyway. In the, he's in the past. You know, I just realized this is the first water level of the game. You only just... Well, technically, you've already done some swimming. No, but no, no. This is the first water level, though. This is I the hate. This is the stupid bonus you kept dying on. Is it? It, it is. Because you wouldn't fucking slow down. Oh, who needs to slow down when you're pro like me? You pretend Plot to be a pro. Plot twist. Plot twist, this is the series where I'm actually good at video games. No. What? Oh, I I'm gonna make it through this entire level without losing anybody. You you've already set that, alright. <clears throat> yep. It's, this in this entire level. Alright? The entire level, I'm not gonna lose anybody. Oh, excuse you. Let's see how long that lasts. Like it's making every flag. I I'm blue. actually very surprised I haven't lost anybody yet. Oh, oh. Oh, excuse me. Oh, go fast. All right. Bonus. That's not a bonus. It's a bonus save point. That's not oh, wow. Uh, okay, yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay, never mind. I lied. I lied. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. All right, go up, 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 up. you think those bananas would be soggy. Whoop. Going down. You know, they probably are. I mean, bananas are soggy as they are. Like, <coughs> bananas are soggy anyway, though. Yeah, but they're not, like, damp. Also, stop dying. Oh, God. There's something back there. There's something back there. I need it! Oh, God! I didn't think I was gonna make that. <laughs> Good job. Right? Bash the baddies! Which means I get to be the fish. 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 Oh, this Ugh. one you have to be careful with. I don't. Yeah, you do. I have a pointy nose! I am the master swordfish! Yeah, baby! Alright. Yeah. So, what else do we have to talk about? Um, more Donkey Kong stuff. That's a little too on the nose. What do you mean it's too on the nose? Because, swordfish. It doesn't make any. It doesn't make any sense. Swordfish nose. You're stupid. First of all, when people think about nose, the first thing they think of is clown. So clownfish should be one of the. No, first they things don't. Of... How do you know? You can't you... read minds. That sounds like a Family Feud question. That doesn't like people family say feud question, nose. Actually. What's the first <laughs> thing you think of? Yes, <sighs> penis. You can't say that on Nick, TV. Nick and Grandma. I know you're right. But what are the odds? What are the chances? But of it was somebody up there. coming up and running up in your old grandma in the naked. <laughs> I don't know, man. I've watched that video way too many times. <laughs> There's another okay. one. You have that to see the more recent. dude was so stuff. happy when he yelled "naked grandma" too. It was nuts. <laughs> you, you have to see the He's newest all like, ones. He's like naked grandma. <laughs> you have to see the newest ones. There's one where a contestant just repeats "mother" in the different ways that's already on the board. Dude, uh, well, I mean, it's not. I haven't seen that one, but like they have a they have the Family Feud on at work like all the time. Yeah. And I mean, like I like Family Feud, but okay. So, uh, do you watch Game Show Network at all? A few times. Dude, I think my new favorite game show on there is fucking. It's called Baggage. I've heard about that. It's basically a show. Oh, oh there's a thing here. No, 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 go back. I need it. But no, it's basically a show where it's it's either a dude or a chick in like. Uh, and like, uh, I don't know, I guess like the Bachelor or the Bachelorette role. And they have three possible suitors. 
and instead of saying things that are good about them, they basically show like three like three things of, uh, of baggage, like problems that they have, like, like, dirty uh, laundry. like a small. Yeah, exactly. And uh, there's oh crap, there's a, there's a small one, a medium one, and a large one, and it's just some of the stuff that shows up on this freaking thing. I mean, granted, they make some of the baggage, they make it sound worse than it actually is most time. Oh, hey, this is cool. Hang on, I got this. Come on. Go ahead. I wanna. Hey, if you bounce on just right, there we go. Oh! Damn. Yeah, if you bounce on just right, you can keep bouncing on them. But, um. And it's just, it's like some of the baggage that they have, it's some of the funniest freaking shit. Like, some of these people, some, like, some of their problems are. Like, I, I was watching this one at work the other day, and one of the pieces of baggage was, like, he, he'll, he'll only be referred to as Indiana Jones in the bedroom. And I was like, oh my god. Uh. Yeah, it's Indiana, Indiana Jones or nothing. Is, is there a reason, or? Uh, I don't know, the dude was, like, a super nerd, though. He had an entire freaking, uh, room dedicated to freaking sci-fi collectibles, which I think that's awesome, personally. And there was something else. There was something else. I don't really. That, that I don't even really remember. But like, freaking, like it was picked, and the dude even busted out the freaking Indiana Jones hat and whip, and I was like, oh my god. I, I mean, thought was, I thought that was great. Is the whip used for anything in the bedroom? I or? would imagine so. One does not simply not bring a whip into the bedroom without using it. But the guy's a super nerd. Yes. Hey, what are you trying to say? Nerds know things. Like how to be a dummy? Yes. Well then. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get so, it. So, nerds are usually submissive, but they can be a dummy if they switch. I hate you for that pun. <laughs> First of all, you're wrong on so many levels. And second of all, I hate you for that pun. Yeah. Okay, how am I supposed to do this? <clears throat> like that. I thought that was gonna be a lot more difficult than it actually was. Hey, a, ba a balloon. Baggage, huh? Yeah, it, it, it's pretty funny, dude. The only show that kind of makes me consistently. Yes, blue balloon. Okay, I was say he wouldn't let me pick it up. The only show that makes me consistently laugh, like every time I see new episodes of it, is Who's Line. Whose line's pretty funny? Whose line is pretty funny? It's, it's, not, it's not as good as it used to be, but it's still really good. I think they're coming out with another season this summer, I believe. Yeah. Which I'm okay because I'm okay with it because if I get to see what was it, Colin Mockery being humped by the guest star again? Oh no, it's That's... Wayne Brady who was being uh, humped. Dude, everybody's always humping everybody in that freaking yeah. show. But when it's like, being done by the guest star, <laughs> it's even more. Did you not watch the Richard Simmons episode? No, I did. I would say that was like the gayest episode. It was so, it was so fucking funny though. Yeah, yeah, it was. Like that was easily the one that had the most laughs. Like that one. Oh my god, it was so funny. It was right next, so wrong. Right next it to the Robin Williams one. Robin Williams was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. Who's your daddy? I don't like these dudes. Although I don't know if anything will top Captain Hare. Captain Hare? I don't think I've seen that one. Yeah! Oh! Okay. I know what we're doing right after this. Uh, we're gonna record another episode, probably. No, I'm gonna show you that video. Oh my goodness. Nine. I hate this stupid green man. This one's not as bad, though. Yeah, because you don't have anything to dodge unless you press right? down at the bottom rope. Which, knowing me, is a very real possibility of what could happen. Hup. Jump from the top turnbuckle! Aww. The You're on the top rope. The elbow! So... The fact that oh. Nintendo has not made a Donkey Kong wrestling game severely disappoints me. Because I would play the shit out of that. They came close with the final boss of Donkey Kong 64. It was a boxing match. What are you talking about? Boxing yeah. is nothing like wrestling. They came close. What do you mean it came close? It's the closest they can ever get, I guess. What do you mean Actually, the they, they did plan. There, there were plans for a Nintendo wrestling game. Are you serious? Yeah, but it uh, it fell through. Oh my god, that would have been amazing. I think that was the game that turned into Mario Strikers Charged. That doesn't make any sense. 
Is it? Is that? Cause it's, is that why Waluigi does the crotch chops? I think so. Let me let me check. Dude, I could totally see Link's finisher being like the Triforce Cutter or some bullshit. Mario Mario wrestling game. <clears throat> Super Mario Spikers is what it was called. Spikers? Yeah, because it was a. Uh... Oh! Oh no! Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Oh god! <laughs> I just wanted to see where that was gonna go. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it was a canceled volleyball wrestling hybrid game for the Wii. A volleyball wrestling hybrid? What in the world? Like two different games. All that was uh, released was concept art, and then the game got turned into Strikers Charged. That's so lame. They already had Mario Strikers though. Yeah, but Strikers Charge took it to a better level, and I loved it. It really. Oh god. When Next Level pitched the concept to Nintendo, they rejected it due to the game's violence clashing with Nintendo's Code of Honor. Violence? Have they played Super Smash Brothers? I mean, I guess that's not as gratuitous as, like, wrestling can be. They made Waluigi tell everybody to suck it. What, that's not violent to you? No, but it's vulgar. Wouldn't that go against their Code of Honor? Yeah, so what? Have you seen so that? What? Have you seen that screenshot from, uh, Color Splash? No, I haven't. It's where uh, Mario's in jail, and the shy guy's like, "Well, we've already thrown you in jail. We can't do anything else to you unless we raise we raise the game's age rating." Oh, that's messed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nintendo can right. do whatever the fuck they okay, want. Okay, hold on. I got I, I revenge on Cranky. He beat me last time. He's gonna beat you again. He probably is. Because you forgot what button was throw. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. How can I forget what button was throw? <clears throat> Come on. Level one, two, get it! Come on! But I've been for kind of Joe. I've been married a long time ago. Where did you come hey, from? Where did I'm you go? Hey, I'm trying to focus. I'm trying come to focus. From Kana, Joe. Damn it, dude! It's catching up. There you go. Yes. Okay. He just started catching up as I pulled away. There's some sort of win animation where Cranky just chases the Kongs off stage. I don't know if that's yeah. in the GBA one or not. I, I, it's in this one, I think. Sorry, I remember that. Yeah, baby! Victory! I need, what, 50 coins to buy that mirror, right? I think so, yeah. Yeah. These, those guys have a strangely soothing laugh. Which ones? Uh, the big crush of dudes. Oh, yeah. They have a very strangely soothing laugh. It's like, hur, hur, hur. and I enjoy just bouncing on them like that. It's fun. Oh god. Bounce on those guys. Uh, no, you know that's okay, because their hair would kill me. Sounds like Shantae. Uh, probably. <laughs> What is it with genies and magical hair? I don't know, but I'm okay with it. You would be. What's that supposed to mean? I'm gonna tell Velvet. Bitch. <laughs> I know what? the difference between re fiction and reality. As blurred as those lines may be for me. I would say, I don't think you understand what... I don't think you understand the concept of reality. Have I ever told you the definition of reality? Um... Reality is doing work over and over again until you die. Then you should wake up, Sergeant. The Matrix has you. Nah. You sure? Nah, no. Oh, god damn, stupid. Oh. Okay. Kill the bee. <coughs> Kill the bee. There we go. Murder it with water. I appreciate how that works, even though it doesn't make any sense. It's a squirt gun in your nose. Oh, god. But uh, why it kills a mechanical bee, I won't understand. Rust. But it's sitting under a waterfall. It's the sitting behind the waterfall. Do it doesn't. I'm sitting behind the waterfall. Yeah. The mist, the mist would do more damage than a There is gun. no mist during the waterfall, only at the what bottom. What are you talking about? There's totally mist during a waterfall. No, it's at the yeah. bottom. It's everywhere. It's at the bottom. It's everywhere. Science will prove me wrong. I mean, right. Maybe yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you're damn right science will prove you wrong. You only have one shot, make it count. Um, it's not that hard, I just gotta do this. 
Huh? <laughs> huh? Remember that draw distance we were talking about last episode? But... Oh, that's so lame. Yeah, I'll I'm take that W. I'm seriously tempted to kill myself right now. Oh, I'm right at the end. <laughs> I'll take that W. Wow, I'm so salty right now. And now you've got this genius of a level. Oh god, I hate this level so much. The fish is hungry! However, I do like that he gets really happy. And you can see him, like, as he gets hungry, he gets more and more hangry. Yeah. Or if you make him eat a sea urchin, which he doesn't like. And I don't really, you know what? I can't really blame him for that. In some cultures, sea urchins are a delicacy. This is not one of those cultures. No, you're right. right. Eat, eat the fish. Don't get hungry. Please. No! Not that one! I already brought it up in the failed recording, but the brutal Mario stage had something like this. So why don't you go ahead and say it again? Because the re failed recording never happened. I don't know. Lame. Brutal Mario is an excellently uh, put together ROM hack. In which they have a castle level like this where there's a boo following you. And you feed him various enemies. Stays a set distance away from Mario. And towards the end there's just a long corridor that Mario runs. And then the boo eventually gets hungry and catches up with you. But then Yoshi comes down and is like, No! Save you, Mario! Eats the boo, falls into lava. Spoilers. Oh yeah! Squawks is in that game as well. Oh god! Yeah, it's mildly terrifying because he's a boss sneeze. in that game. Squawks is a boss? Yeah, in Brutal Mario. What? There are so oh, many. No. Like, <clears throat> he's angry! He's angry! He's angry! Now he's grumpy. Come on, get happy. Don't worry. Brutal Be Mario has happy. so many, like, awesome Easter egg bosses. I'm gonna have to like, try that one this time. Like, like, I've heard of it, but I've never actually played it before. Ah, uh, would you be willing to play it, like, soonish? I don't know, what's your definition of soon? Like, would it be okay if I spoil some of the bosses, or...? Uh, don't spoil any of the bosses, because I'm planning on playing it. Fuck. Alright. Yeah. Go. Go. Would you record it? I don't know, I have to say, maybe? I don't know what I'm- I don't know what I am and am not gonna do, sir. All I know is I'm All I know is right now I'm trying to keep this fish happy. But he's stupid, because he keeps eating the stupid sea urchins, even though he knows he doesn't like them. Yeah, he's like, well, oh, he's like, oh, I hate the taste of those. But he's like, ooh, I'm just gonna eat it. Look at me, because I'm smart. Stupid fish. He's not even hungry right now, he's gonna go for it. Ow, I'm really glad I got that DK barrel. Because I would have been a little salty. A little bit, yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the barrels up there behind those two sea urchins that were coming down. Oh, there's a... there's a... A bonus? No, there's nothing up there. Yeah, there is. There's something up there. No, there's not. Oh. I thought it was behind Oh, my God. Where this fish is going to eat me. Oh, my goodness. I may oh, have killed that you. Was totally your fault. I may that have done that. Totally I legitimately your fault. thought it was there. I apologize, uh, but that was fucking amazing. That was not amazing. <laughs> that was terrible. I died. That fish chomped me. He ate both of them, then fucked you over. Yeah, he did. He ate the first one, and he knows the first one tastes bad. It's like he's not a pet. Because you have to be responsible for the, for the pet. He's the pet proving you to be responsible. <laughs> no, I'm trying to be responsible. I'm trying to lead him away from those. He's stupid, and he's all like, Ooh, look, I'm just going to nom the sea urchin. He doesn't like the way it tastes. You know what my old dog did when he didn't like food? It didn't freaking eat it. This fish yep. is dumb. Well, that's, there's, a di there's quite a difference between a fish and a dog. That's true. There's quite a difference between a human knowing how things eat and a dog. I don't know, uh, I, I do my dog was... No, there's dumb. a distinct difference between a human and a dog. Unless you watch True. Full Metal Alchemist. Oh, wow, that's messed up. A little bit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I, I, I was happy. I'm proud of that one. That, I'm proud that, of that, that one. Messed up, yeah. That's okay, at least, you, at least we're not talking about a dead guy. I mean, you're going to be him at some point. I am going to be. So I'm just, I'm still waiting on the rest of my stuff to get him in. Bonk! 
Who are you gonna have to cosplay lo uh, Lust? Uh, it's Envy actually. But uh, there, I, know, I thought it was Lust that kills him. No, it was Envy. Oh yeah, because Envy's the shapeshifter. Yeah, because yeah, because Envy disguises himself as he's as a uh, as, as his wife. But um, uh, there was an Envy cosplayer that was there last year, so she'll probably be uh, she'll probably be there again. Okay. Okay, it's time for the worst boss oh, ever of all time. Oh, the failed recording had your epic save. I can do it again. Yeah, you can't. I can totally do it again. It's so easy, dude. No, you can't. Here, I'm gonna try. Let's see. I'm try to one cycle this. Oh. Oh, press the wrong button. Damn it. Good one cycle. All right. Oh, oh, oh. Look at his only attack. His only attack can't even hurt me. In the GBA version, it was a lot stronger. And he had to take three hits to the eyes. Listen to this. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> it's so late. Look at me. Boing. Oh, look. He just saved my life because I would have fallen down the hole. Damn it. You fucking suck. I'm so bad at this. Bum, 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 bum. Oh my god. It's so terrible. Oh man, you're so good at this, boss. Bum, 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 bum. Did he just roll his eyes at me? Probably. If he's oh, no, his, his eyes are sh <laughs> shit that you do. True. Give me my ski. You close your eyes, you get in there. It's uh, it's the worst boss ever. Of all time? Of all time. Okay. Alright, well that does it for that. So I think in the next episode we're gonna get the uh We're gonna get the next thing, right? The other ski. The other ski? And roll that be? Um that'll be I don't know, whenever the sequence of uploading episodes is I, decided. I meant mean which world? Mykonos. Okay. Mechanos. Mykonos. Mechanos. Whatever. It's mechanical. We're gonna go there next time. Catch you Open later. Open the lost world. No. Fucker.